Hello, Purple Phonics Group, and welcome to the last session of the week. Okay, so you know how we start. We start with a sound recap. So on the screen, I have got all the digraph sounds that we've learned so far. What I'd like you to do is point to the sound when you hear me say it. I'm not going to give you long before I show you what the sound is. So if you need to pause me, pause me, but we're going to go quite fast, okay? So can you point to the E sound, please? Where is E? Okay, here is the E sound. Two E's together make the E sound. How about qu? Can you point to qu for me? Here I come, heading towards qu. There he is. Did you find him? Well done if you did. How about O? Where's the O sound? Here we go. O and an A make the O sound, don't they? How about er? Uh? Can you find er? Uh? Yes, the U and the R make the er uh sound, don't they? How about mm? How about mm? Where's that one? Here he is, the N, the G. Mm. How about R? Where's the R sound? Yes, up at the top, here's the R sound, the A and the R. How about shh? Yes, here's our sh sound, the S and the H make the sh sound, don't they? How about oi? Down at the bottom, here's the oi sound, the O and the I. How about th? Let's have a look all the way up at the top. Here's the th sound. Did you find that one? Then we have or. Where's the or sound? Yes, right in the middle, there's the or sound. Then not many to go now. How about ch? Here's the ch sound. And finally, the a sound. Where's a? Yes, it's here, isn't it? Well done, the a and the i. Okay, now at the bottom of the screen, you can see that I've got some, some writing that's covered. And this is our single sounds that we learned at the very beginning of the term. So I just want to see if you can write those sounds down because we were practicing writing them as well, weren't we? So have a go. Can you write v for me, please? OK, let's look. Are you ready? V. There's your V, a uh, V sound. How about X? Can you write X for me? Are you ready? Let's have a look. There's x. How about Can you write that one? Here we go. Well done if you got that one right. The next one is ch, ch, ch. Can you write ch for me? There we go. There's our ch sound. How about z? z. Can you write that one? Okay, let's see. There's our z sound. And finally, our yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we write yeah? Let's take a look. There we go. Yeah. How did you do? If you got all those right, I am very, very proud of you. If you got a few wrong, that's fine. Remember what I've said. Just go back, listen to me say the sounds, and try and file them in your brain for next time. OK, let's move on and see what today's sound is. So today's sound is two O's together. So two O's put together make one of two different sounds. They can make the U uh or the oo uh sound. They can go oo, uh oo, -uh, oo. Uh -uh. Could you try saying that for me? Oo, uh oo, -uh, oo. Uh -uh. So they'll either make the short U uh sound or the long oo uh -uh sound. And when you're trying to sound words out, you're going to have to try both of those sounds in the word to figure out which one is the right one. OK, so let's have a look at how we write this one. Now, we've done lots of practice with this letter because we've practiced O quite a lot, haven't we? So if we look, they both sit on the line. They're short letters and they start with a curly cut. So are we ready? Let's curl up and around, sit on the line and finish. Curl up and around, sit on the line 
and finish. Now, mine aren't quite the same height, are they? But they should be the same height, really, and sitting on the line. So two O's make the O uh or the OO sound. Let's take a look at today's words. Now, we're back to having the sound buttons today. I've given you the sound buttons back today. Again, they're real words, but you don't know whether they make the O uh or the OO sound. So when you sound them out, you're going to have to try both and see which one makes a word that sounds good to you. Have a go. Pause me. Come back to me when you're ready. Right, let's have a look at the first one. So we've got some single sounds in our diagraph. So we've got t -uk or t -uk. Mm, I think I prefer the uk. I like the short one. So t -uk, t -uk, took. Did you get that one? The next one, we've got u or u. So h -u -d or h -u -d. Mm, I think it's uk again. H -h -u -d. Hood, hood. Did you get that one? Let's try the next one. So, b, u, 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 t, s. Again, you have to try both. So we go b, u, t, s, b, u, t, b, u, t, s, boots. And finally, g, r, u, u, u. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to go for the the long one again. G, g, r. Oom, gr, gr, oo, groom, groom. Did you hear how I built that sound from the front to get those two sounds built together first? Right, let's try our spelling. So with your pen and paper, get yourself ready. And the first spelling word today is book. Have a go at book. Right, let's have a look and see. Here we go. Book. B, o. And it's a kicking at the end because it's at the end of the word. So you should have got that kicking right, shouldn't you? The next one is room. Let's take a look. So room, room. Next one is soon. Let's take a look at soon. Soon, soon. And the last one is shoot. Shoot. Okay, let's take a look. So we've got shoot. How did you do with those? Are you getting better at spelling every day? I hope you are. Right, so today's tasks. Today, we have our normal writing task, but we have two sentences to write today, not just one. So we're going to write two sentences, and then we've got our draw a picture. So the first sentence, are you ready? Again, I'm not telling you what a sentence needs because by now you should really know what that sentence needs. The first one is, the food is no good. The food is no good. That's five words, off you go. Okay, let's take a look and see how you did, ready? So I'm just gonna drop this one down slightly, there he is. The food, is no good. So we've got our tricky word the, we've got a tricky word here for no, did you remember those? Then we've got our oo sound in food and u sound in good. The food is no good. Full stop at the end, finger spaces and a capital letter at the start. Well done if you got all that right. The second sentence is look, I am big. Look, I am big. Try that one. Okay, are we ready? Look, I am big. Let's take a look at that one. So, look with a capital L because it's at the start of our sentence. So, look with a kicking because it's at the end of the word. I, notice I has got a capital letter because the word I always has a capital, doesn't it? Am big, full stop. How did you do with that one? Did you get that one right? Hopefully you did. Right, let's take a look at what I'd like you to draw today. So, have a look. You know I'm not going to read this to you. You have to read this one to yourself and then draw the picture. Now, I'm going to come back to this page, but before I leave you with that sentence so that you can um, draw the picture, I'm going to show you a little task that I'd like you to try and do next week. Now, next week is slightly different because next week 
there will be no phonic sessions from me at all. OK, other things are happening for the whole year group, so there will be no phonics. But I am going to leave you with a little bit of challenge for you to do over the next week or so, because when we come back after the end of term, I would really like to know that you know these six tricky words. OK, you need to be able to read them and you need to be able to write them in your sentences. So I have sent you this sheet. And on this sheet, we have got all six of our tricky words in little boxes. And can you see they've got weird squiggly lines drawn all around them? Now, the idea here is that I would like you to make me a piece of art that maybe you could bring into school when we come back and that we can mount and make look beautiful. Now, I've got one here that I've already done, which I'm going to hold up hopefully for you to see. Oop, there we go. OK, so. I have taken that sheet that you're looking at and I have drawn some swirls around my letters. So you can see this is very pop arty. So I've drawn big swirls around each of my words and then I've coloured every swirl in a different colour. I've done that on some and on some of the others. I've done weird squiggly lines, a little bit like reindeer antlers, all the way around my word. Can you see? So I've got weird squiggly bits going all the way around my word and then I've coloured those in. So what I'd like you to do with an adult is I would like you to get this sheet and look at the sheet and say to the adult today, I am going to read you a word on the sheet. Read them the word, point to the word. And then a little while later, the adult will say to you, can you write that word for me? Once you can read the word and you can write the word, I then want you to pop up, make it look amazing. Squiggles around it, colours around it, whatever you want to do. So colour in the entire box for that word. Every time you can prove that you can read and spell and write a word, go ahead and colour it in. And then I'm hoping that by the time you come back at the end of our half term break, the whole six will be coloured in and we can move on to some new tricky words. So that's your challenge for next week and for over half term. OK, right. I'm going to take you back to that phrase there. So hopefully you can read that phrase and draw me a picture. Have a lovely rest of the week and a beautiful weekend and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.